the national debt plan and what the tech industry can expect by year's end, and what does it mean to you? All the Angles starts now. September 19th, President Barack Obama will pass an overarch overarching deficit plan that he said will cover the cost of, jo of the jobs bill and stabilize the national debt. Will these plans get passed by Congress by year's end, or are there too many stakeholders in partisan politics to make anything happen in Washington? With us in our studio are three people that can make some sense of what's going on on Capitol Hill and around the country in the tech industry. To my far left is Associate Editor of Communications Daily, Bill Myers. Bill covers the tech industry on many policy fronts and reports extensively on the universal service reform. And next to him is TIA's own senior vice president, John Jacobs. We like to get John's insight into market forecasting, especially when it's hard to make sense of what sometimes is a volatile market. And also on the show today is Ron Westfall, research director with Current Analysis and also an expert on policy issues in the tech industry and gentlemen welcome to the program today thank you thanks, thanks very much nice thank to have you. all of you on the table uh, or on the panel at the same time i speak to you individually over uh, over the week here and there and uh, we're talking about the american jobs act today and uh it just so happens that tia released its own uh jobs report and that was written by former clinton economic advisor robert shapiro um bill i wanted to start with you when the president delivers a, a, a speech like the american jobs act late last week isn't it customary for re the Republican Party to respond in some formal way to that? And, and if not, what does that mean? Well, it, it is customary. I mean, the, I mean, the last few presidents that I've seen, anyway, as long as I can remember, they've always delivered a response. But uh, so I don't, I don't know what the tea leaves mean. It may well be that the congressional leadership is looking at the polls and they realize that they're less popular even than the president is right now. But I don't know if you saw. I'm sure your, your viewers are aware. Just yesterday, John Boehner gave a speech at the Economic Club here in, here in Washington and said uh, he's not interested in raising taxes and it's got to and all the deficit reduction has got to be through uh, cutting of spending so you know that's the first that's the first iceberg for the president's job plan right now as i see it mm -hmm. the second thing is uh, you know you may have a different sense of this but uh, from the people i'm talking to in the democratic party there's not a lot of enthusiasm for the jobs bill as it's written uh, the the sense at least among the you know the the core constituency of the democratic party is we need to be even tougher than than we have been you know, basically where the hell you've been mr president so I don't, I, I can't make any predictions, obviously, but I, I, it seems to me that there are there are significant obstacles to this thing getting through. Would Leds? Well, I think I, I think uh, there are significant obstacles, and I I would say that uh, from an industry perspective, a lot of what we're experiencing, our members are experiencing, is uh, a lack of leadership. That, and I think there's a, a growing uh, intolerance. In the, in the business uh, sector for this, and especially given uh, some of the issues, uh, some of the, you know, we have extremely tight credit mm -hmm. financing available for smaller companies. It's very difficult for them to get this type of financing. And loosening up uh, the money supply by providing uh, ways to create better investment, more investment is critical uh, to, to our industry and to our members. Uh, what, what the political solution is, I, I, can't, I can't predict either, except mm -hmm. that we need <coughs> leadership, we need guidance, and, and we need, uh, uh, one would say, uh, some decisions soon. Yeah, I think it's also fair to note that, yes, Obama himself is unpopular. And part of the reason why there wasn't a formal response is that there is also a sense that he's oversaturated his exposure on uh, policy mm -hmm. issues. He's turned to the uh, teleprompter once too many times, so there's kind of a tuning out effect amongst the uh, public. Additionally, uh, I think it's fair to note that uh, it's also a campaign tactic. Uh, I think it's clear that uh, there's no chance that the bill in its current form will pass uh, Congress. So this gives uh, Obama an opportunity to say, hey, look, we uh, composed a bill but it didn't get passed by, uh, by Congress. Therefore, you know, the current job situation is not entirely my fault, sharing the blame, if you will. So that, I think, is definitely part of the calculus here as to why uh, there was no formal response to uh, the president's initial speech. On the, other, on the other side of that, though, John, you mentioned loosening up the money. I'm just, just from the worm's eye view of these things at the, you know, at, the, at the layperson's point of view, you saw the USB scandal now, that some rogue trader just walked away with $2 billion. Mm -hmm. 
at, just at a time when the banks, uh, when you know, there's been huge. The banks are just coming out of the last crisis, and now they're now it looks to me just in, in terms of the public relations side of this that you know that we're looking at another international banking crisis at the same time that Greece is threatening to take down Europe with it. I don't know where the money's going to come from, frankly, just from a layperson's point of view. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it, it may well be that you know that, that there's a, that the Republicans are counting on the president uh, to be overexposed, but the the other thing to keep in mind about this president in particular, he's 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 been incredibly lucky. It has to be said, and you know this new this new crisis coming out of Europe. I mean, assuming that it continues to deepen, may be just what he needs. N not to be crass about it, but uh, it it may be sort of the galvanizing force.